I'm free. I'm free. Okay, we're good. Okay, there we go. Phew. I mean, there was never a worry, chat. There was never a worry that the uh, emu... I mean, um, there was no invasion of the house. There was no emus. Nothing happened. The emus totally didn't take me hostage. Oh. But I got away. I mean, from the non-hostage situation. Phew. Okay. We find ourselves back in the land of Battle Brothers. Totally safe from the emus. They can't get me here. Welcome back. The internet just instantly died. I don't know why. Probably the heat. The heat probably got to it. But it could be the emus as well. <laughs> Welcome back, though, chat. We still have a couple of fights to do before we finish up for today. Uh, unfortunately, I had to restart the stream, so the timer's gone back to, like, zero start on the stream. So it makes it seem like it's a brand new stream, but it's it's not. It's not. But welcome back. Uh, what was I doing again? Oh, yeah. Try not to die to the Necro Savant, who might be a little eager and starts on turn one to attack us and literally hits Duckman. Okay. we got to be a little careful. Just a little bit careful. Five hours to go. No, 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 no. <laughs> Chat, please. Let the snowman have lunch. Let the snowman stay alive. The snowman wants to live and survive. High five, get over here. Hey, Necromancer, please die to lightning. Wait, I have my own hound. Ha! Get wrecked. Hey, we have our friend, Mr. Fiend. Wait, I don't like the Fiend. He sucks. Dang it, couldn't I have summoned a better thing? I mean, he did hit the Holland Hound nicely, so... Maybe I should thank him for his efforts. Okay, keep staying hidden, Sokka. Friend, yeah, with Fiend, exactly. There's just a couple of letters missing. He's fine. Nice, good hits. But we are back, yes, good times. Great times. High five, go get him. Now, I know I'm stuck in the water here with Abyss, but I think he can hold his own. I don't want to be too cocky, chat, but I think he'll be fine. Well, we are feeding the Necrosavant some nice hits, though, so I do worry a little bit. <gasps> I didn't re-equip the pet! That's my fault. I was like, where's my Holland Hound? Yeah, I never re-equipped it. That would have been smart. Nah, he's fine. 30% is good luck, buddy. Oh, wait, there's a zombie there, too. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I totally prepared for that. Mm-hmm. Okay, 75 is not too bad. 60 is good. Ooh. Lunatic going with the double kill. Let's frickin' go. That was beautiful. 5% puncture? Nice try, buddy. Nice try. I'll see you in... Oh, there goes my... There goes my fiend. Good job, puppy, though. Good job. Maybe get Lunatic a better sword? Yeah, maybe. He's doing good enough that I might have to reward him with a better sword. Did I go lightning? No. Yes? Yeah, why not? I need to get that Necrosvant closer before I do anything else. Lightning does set up a kill. Perfect. Perfect! Hey, Crimson, welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. Oh, and chat, because we're finishing up soon, I probably should turn the Nameless Spinner off for the duplicates because of the stream restarting. Holy Crimson's okay to be on the list. But I worry about the duplicates because then it'll be like, oh, what's going on? Cha chaos. Too much chaos. Okay, I also just need them to give me my turn. Die. Savant, get closer to me. Savant's not listening to me. He's not listening. Was this a stray hockey book that took out the stream, like my elbow? Yeah, it probably was. 
Totally wasn't anything to do with the emus. Would never, would never be anything to do with them. I blame the hockey pucks. Slam dunk, high five, good stuff, buddy. Moha with a good stab. Emus are innocent. Yeah, yeah, they're just misunderstood, chat. Completely misunderstood. And they're flipping adorable. Ouch. This savant's gonna be actually very painful. Because how do I just stop him from healing off of my weaker bros? Taunting him with a legend legionary, maybe? Osters on the hand are not. Well, that's true. Osters are kind of kind of jerks. Emus are hilarious. And they're fluffy. Can I hit this dude? Can someone snipe this guy? Yeah, please. That'd be really nice. Hey, I knew he'd come back. Yeah, and I knew he'd heal. <sighs> come on. Cassowary? Oh no, cassowaries are literally just devil spawn. Those things are scary. Don't say hello to a cassowary. Don't, don't do anything to a cassowary. Just run. Maybe don't even run. You've got no chance to run. You've got no chance. This hound is the Matrix. He's dodging everything. Sheesh. Cassowaries are dinosaurs? Yeah, 100%. They're very pretty dinosaurs. With weird stuff on their head. But they're very scary dinosaurs. You're both thinking about dinosaurs? Yeah, yeah. If you see the cassowary, it's too late. Luckily, all the cassowaries I've seen are in captivity, so... That keeps me on the safe side. Definitely want to find them in captivity and not out of captivity. Mm-hmm. Come on, come on, somebody kill him! No, I don't do any lightning. Can I rotate into a hit? That's 43, because he's stinking nimble! This dude, man. This dude. I mean, this is a great way to get your bros killed in terms of getting them undead. But this dude's gotta stop. Also, if I ever played normal Battle Brothers again, this is gonna corrupt me for life, because I'm like, okay, I'm okay with my bros dying. Normally, I would be panicking out of the hell of my mind to have to do this fight. Right now, I'm just like, oh no, they're dying. Okay. Which is bad. It's a bad way for me to think. 100%. I should not be thinking about Battle Brothers like this. I feel horrible. Okay, the dude's dead. Good. One less dealing. He's healing, you jerk. I think I just need to hide in the bushes with the guys that don't want to die. Like Sokka over here. Yeah, I should have done something different. I screwed up there. He's sucking blood from a skeleton. I mean, there's something called bone marrow, but I mean, if you're a skeleton that old, there's a very good chance you don't have much left in those bones. Oh, he tries to go for the king himself. 47's not gonna save you, buddy. Modded sounds interesting. Oh, <laughs> heavily modded. Heavily modded is the right word. Come on, get him. Get him! He's on 16 health! There triggers the 9 lives. He's gonna heal. He's so gonna heal, isn't he? He's healing off the skeleton. Only 13! That's not bad. I can kill him. Found the Witcher mod? It does look pretty cool. The Witcher mod is cool. I don't think it's very balanced, though, but I think it's cool. Duckman and Kenshan do turn into zombies, I do believe. That's wonderful. The rest of them take just injuries, which kind of sucks, but we'll live with it. We'll live with it. Nicely done, team. Jumping around Necrosvants are annoying, but it's fine. So, more zombies. That are kind of sucky, but it's okay. It's okay. Oh, Kenshan's the zombie I really wanted. That's right. I hate that he lost his heart and his ear before he turned into a zombie, though. 
Okay, let's give him some more armor. Let's protect him a bit more, chat, because he is kind of valuable. Kind of. There we go. I feel a little bit better about that. Have you done a Witcher run? No, I haven't played the Witcher run on stream. No, I haven't done it. Maybe one day. Maybe. Kettleham looks good. Oh, actually, Kettlehelm on this one looks better. 150, 150. Abyss already. Level 8. Can't get anything to level 9. Let's get muscularity. That's going to hit hard. That's going to hit nice and hard. And he gets some stats out of it too. 3, 3, and 5. Love to see it. Extended ore is tempting. But it's not possession. I will consider Remake Man. That's not too bad. But in all honesty, this thing's so much better than Remake Man. It's Heed the Call and it costs nothing. Might just skip out on that. Uh, Ralph, you got some health? Let's go. Just please stay alive a little bit longer. Keeping the team somewhat full of bros. So an assassin at Avatar can accept you target monsters. Nice. Undead are attacking again. Please don't attack me. You're just too annoying. They're just raiding the town. You guys want to protect your town? They took forever to protect their town. You guys are dumbasses. You're meant to be the great fighter of the south, and your watchtower just got wrecked. Sucks to be them. I can do a nomad fight or some arenas, chat. What are we thinking? Yeah, we gotta do some arenas. We can finish on the noble nomad fight. How many how many arenas? We got one arena and one nomad fight. And that might be all we can really get through for the rest of the stream, but I will double check. Is there anything I can sell here? Yeah, no spins in the stream, because it's a leaderboard run. It's gotta be fully sweaty, which is the reason why it's a sweaty stream. And also, it's a really warm day, so that's besides the point. That's got nothing to do with it. <laughs> What's everything got to do with it is the sweat of the gameplay. That's all it is. And into we with fights we go. What do you mean the rest of the stream? It's only been streamed 12 minutes. I know! But I'm one of, like, those new fan-dangled streamers that, like, come on for, like, just 30 minutes and then be like, uh... We're almost done today. Might might reach an hour today, you never know. <laughs> well, I've been asked 100 times. No, no, it's all good, Holy Crimson. Not a problem. I made this thing on the bottom left to explain what the run does. So that explains the run a bit. I'm going to miss this, aren't I? No! Bunch of jerks. Bunch of jerks. Oh, well. I'll just teleport and hit him. Easy. No one seems to see the explanation. Hey, I put it there. A lot of big streamers like doing that. They like, because big streamers get asked questions way too many times that they just can't keep answering it all the time. So big streamers set up things like that. They set up a lot of, like, commands so that mods can be like, Hey, stop asking pointless questions. And stop bothering the streamer because he's trying to stream. And it's like, I don't mind it too much usually. But as we get bigger, I might have to start doing things like that a little bit. Where it's like, okay, I gotta start adding more commands and maybe putting GB on the mod list. You never know. You never know. Things might have to start happening. <laughs> Arena fights don't trigger free bows? I was hoping so with standard. I was really hoping so, but it doesn't seem like the case. I am really sad. You're on mobile, so you didn't see it? Oh yeah, mobile sucks when it comes to seeing small things, for sure, man. But yeah, shocking lightning. I know, Slayman. Completely shocking. You love the rebel command? The rebel command is great. I did make that one specifically for you guys. I'm glad you guys love it. Alright, let's go beads up some nomads. We might have time to do the caravan, too. Yeah, that could work. 
What's the pike on my main guy? I never heard of two-handed weapon that can puncture. Oh, it's it's a little bit broken. It doesn't work that way. Smoke strike is a thing that the main character gets, Choppy. It's it's a lot of mods. And uh, the main character is very, very fancy, and he gets like a gigantic puncture attack, which is super strong. So much. 100% armor ignore. Yeah, I, I don't understand how it works. It's not actually the polearm that does it. It's actually an innate ability, and I think the polearm lets you use the reap. Maybe it is the pole. Wait, let me double check this. It is the polearm that gives you smoke strike. Interesting. So Abyss doesn't necessarily have to be the only person using the polearm. But he is a very good candidate for it. But that's interesting. It's tied to the actual weapon. I just thought it was innate. But no, it's actually the weapon. Huh. Wait, that means if I break the weapon, I lose it? It doesn't have durability, so you can't break it. Abyss thought of everything. And I always find more bugs. Wait. I'm trying to get the location. These are not nomads. There we go! That's the nomads I'm looking for, chat. It just didn't show it was including the location. That's hilarious. There's a lot of nomads here. Lightning time! Snakes in the jungle just hanging around the nomads. Chat, we want the free XP. More XP! And then maybe a brand new bro joins us. You never know. It could happen. Okay, we just get sniped. Moha, you're collecting some permanent injuries there, buddy. <laughs> I like it. The jugglers joined the serpents. No, 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 we're not crashing. That'd be hilarious, though. And there's no juggler. Oh, it's a it's a butcher. That's with the nomads. They've had infightings, chat. They hate each other. It's great. We will capitalize upon the hate and destroy both of them. Maybe successfully. Maybe. But I already did lose a bro, technically, so... We'll see how it goes. High five, this is great in the sand. Run forward. Kenshan, you're doing pretty good. We'll hang back a little bit, though. And Drazus has no movement. Lightning Bolt is going to hit very few. Oh, it hits the snakes, maybe. Lightning Bolt. No, this juggler walked away. Eh, it's still a four-person Lightning Bolt. It's not too bad. Oh, no, they're backline. What backline? There's a big dude in front of them. Yeah, this ability is strong. Heed the Call is great. If you use this constantly in combat, it has like a four-turn cooldown. Just pump them out. Swarm the enemies with just infinite undead. Although if you spawn them next to the enemy, of course, your undead might not survive as easily as if you set them near your bros, but... Snowball effect does work, chat. That's what we're here for. What is that foul creature? He's a friend, see? Oh, it's just missing the word R. He's a fiend, but he's a friend. And he only has, like, 300 health. He's also really sucky. Like, he's scary looking, but he's weak. He's just a bullet sponge. 300 health, barely any stats. Minus 5 defense. He does nothing. He's a super weak on hold. He's like a knock. He's like a baby knock that just had a mutation to make him look bigger. But he's not actually better than a baby knock. That's basically what he is. So sadly. They need to move food supply in the desert? Yeah, food. Food's important. And we will consume all of it. Even though we're undead. We're doing it to make a statement. Minus five defense? Yeah, he he does suck. That's why I said he's all all bark and no bite. Which is why when I summon him instead of something else, it kinda sucks. I'd like to see something else. <laughs> Break the shield, Stefan. Good job, buddy. 
Oh no! Duckman doesn't get struck down because he got decapped. Oh, that sucks. Well, one less zombie. It's just a flesh wound? Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait. Zombies can come back with their heads off, right? Fallen heroes can. Aren't our bros heroes, technically? So, Abyss Crane, I petition that zombies should be able to come back even if their heads are chopped off. Because that totally makes sense to me. You could have headless bros in your party, and that would be hilarious. And they can't wear helmets. That should just... It just should be a permanent injury. Chat, that would be so funny. Headless bros in your party. Can't wear helmets. And then it's just a permanent injury. Debiss Crane, you've got to do it. Come on, you love the idea. You totally love the idea. I can see it. <laughs> I don't know how you could mod it, though. That sounds like a tricky thing to mod, though. But it sounds funny. Get some money, then go to the keep. Oh, there's no way we do the keep today. There's no way, man. I know you guys are eager to see a boss fight. We are not strong enough for a boss fight. We'll get our asses kicked. No, today is all about the grind. You mean the mod city? Oh! To recruit there. Okay, maybe. Because that's the sellswords mod city. Yeah, that's fine. The undead keep's good for me. Yes, the undead keep is. But there's also, like, the the other keep, which is... Wait, because it's still sellswords, right? There's some... Um... There's, like, the seven to nine sellsword locations. Yeah. Yeah, before the stream ends, I should probably go and say hi to this, that keep. Yes, the one that you guys are talking about. The one that I was thinking about was the sellsword fancy locations. Okay, the Butcher's doing some good damage. Kaisner, good stuff. Oh no, I'm getting whipped. What will I ever do? What will I ever do? Just lay down and die. Nice lightning. Let's freaking go. Okay, well, I didn't have to do very much in this fight, chat, and I am okay with that. Oh, please stop whipping me. Yeah, exactly. Ralph, you're getting whipped a lot. I don't think here I'm complaining, though, chat. Surprisingly. You know, you'd expect someone to complain, but... He seems alright with it. He seems fine. Ralph is rebelling. <laughs> nah, that- he's still- I don't hear him complaining though, I hear him rebelling, but... Nah, he seems fine. Whip it good? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's a good song. Definitely a good song. The snakes are very confident. <laughs> yeah, for good reason. Oh no! I'll be fine. Oh no, I hit Kaisner in the head. No, in the body. He's fine. Friendly fire is tolerated in this undead army. I'm literally getting most of my bros killed. So, it's very much tolerated. Oh, hang out. Yeah, I know I need to finish soon. And give you pats and puddles and everything. I know, I know. Hello. Yeah, you're being a good girl. It's tricky playing Battle Brothers with one hand. It's tricky, isn't it, Mal? I gotta pat you and play Battle Brothers with clicking. Imagine clicking to play Battle Brothers. Ugh. Doesn't work. Oh, and then Kaisner heals himself. Yeah, that's the cool ability of Kaisner. I'm sure Luft plays Battle Brothers one-handed. I mean, what? <laughs> He'll never hear what I say. Anyways. It's only the difficult thing to do with one hand. <laughs> Thanks, White Magic. Thanks. Maybe what I was slightly implying, but yes. <laughs> Oh, I do like that this lunge thing um, actually lets you chase enemies a little bit more easily if you have the fatigue. Well, watch, he was lurking the whole time. No! There's no way he would do that thing. He would never lurk. Luft always makes himself known. 
he would never be hiding in the shadows, except when he is. Stop stealing my weapons! You're being a jerk. I was typing before you said it, damn it says white magic. <laughs> nice. Great minds think alike. I have a mouse with 16 bucks. 16 buttons. I hate those types of mice. There's too many buttons. No, I can't handle the 16. I have a mouse with two buttons. That's good enough. My brother had like a nine buttoned one once. Nah, I, I can't do it. It's just too many things to work with. I like using my left hand on the keyboard. I gotta, gotta use the keyboard. Yeah, that doesn't kill him. Keyboard's easy to work with. A mouse with too many buttons, no. I mean, I can understand having like maybe like four buttons or something. Two's the easiest to work with. I don't know. Let's stay hydrated with the other hand? Of course, Grim, of course. Hydration, most important. Can I stop missing this dude? Oh my goodness, hit a 50% on him for once. Kill him. Yes, Legionary, do better than my own team. Two buttons, not even a scroll wheel, says Ulrich. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Two side buttons, two top buttons, and a scroll wheel. That's what I was saying. <laughs> oh, I couldn't live without a scroll wheel. That's for sure. I can't imagine people with just using a two-button mouse. I guess Apple people do it, don't they? Because then they have that weird thing. No, 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 no crashing, Ralph. I know you're rebelling. And Duckman getting himself decapitated is slightly rebelling. Doesn't want to be in the party more. We count the top buttons? No, we don't count the top buttons. No, we don't. That's the joke that Ulrich was doing. <laughs> oh, Hedge Knight! And we get a Halberd. Oh, good. And another Zweihander! Please be Hedge Knight. That's not a Hedge Knight. It's the same thing as a Hedge Knight, though. Adventurer. Used to be adventurer like you, traveler. Till I took an arrow to the knee because he has 10 range defense. This dude's good though. Charming and Iron Jaw. He kind of sucks on his options. There are not many options on this, bro. I will take fast adaptation. I will take quick step because I really like it at the moment. And I will take perfect fit. Because I want medium armor on him. He's got good defense. Till I took a puck to the elbow? Yeah, that's the one. I used to be an adventure to the, like you till I took a puck to the elbow. 100%. Um, I think medium is pretty good. 17 defense medium. Wait, isn't it maximum 15? How did I get 17? What on earth did they do? Gain plus 5, plus 5 when wearing a head and body armor with a total weight of 15. Convert one range defense to melee defense for every 2 points. Exceed this value. It drops by 1 for every 10 points. Your initiative is below your twice armor weight. Third of your melee defense bonus is range defense bonus. Melee penalty fatigue is issues. That's a lot of stuff. And somehow, because I'm really heavy, I got 17 melee defense and minus range defense. So wait, they just made medium better than heavy. You're an arrow sponge, yeah, it's zero range defense, but now your melee defense is through the roof. That's kind of weird and kind of strong. But then who needs range defense when you can do something like Anticipation? But yeah, if you have low range defense, enemies target him. But if you have Anticipation, that means enemies kind of don't want to target him. Yeah, that's interesting. And weird at the same time. Regardless, we have a new bro, chat. A brand new bro to join us. 
And I'm happy about it because I got the weapon I want. And Epo, welcome to the team, man. Welcome, welcome. Um, I just hope he dies. <laughs> and he survives. Actually, I should probably take his armor off. Yeah, I don't want to have to repair that armor. There we go, Stefan. You hold on to the sword again. Kaisner goes crazy. 75 is nice. Battle Hearts, very nice. Give the armor to Abyss. Ooh, fancy Abyss. Yeah, it's not a bad idea. I will probably give it back to somebody eventually, but Abyss having big fat armor. And most importantly, Abyss getting the upgraded shoulder pads with the plus 10 resolve. That's very important for Abyss. And it's also... No, it's not important for Sokka. Sokka doesn't need it. Just Abyss. No one else. Okay. We save. We continue. And let's go say hi to the lovely northern place before we finish up for today, which is very far north. Legion Keep. We have a little bit of money saved up. And if our adventure doesn't dry us out with the Squire, we'll be fine. There's an arena sitting out. Nah, it's fine. Take an escort up. I don't know if we have one. I think there is a caravan. I don't know if it's going north specifically, but I should check. I do love that halberd. Who wants the halberd? Actually, he can use it. Epo's got a good accuracy. He can hold the halberd for the moment. Caravan, where are you headed? Four days east. Ooh, Koper is a bit far, isn't it? Coper's the Southern Nation. Fodge. That takes me further away than where I want to go. That sucks. It's a good caravan. It's not very expensive. It's near, far, wherever you are. Yeah, it's near and far at the same time. Okay, let's just go trekking north, chat. And not getting ambushed by undead. That would be really nice. I don't like doing those fights. If I don't have to. Good. Okay, good. Don't bother me. I'm going to go collect good bros. And maybe make some money at the same time. Buy some more cheap trade goods, which should be working on my... Yes, they are. Ambition's slowly going up. Turn item, coin delivery, escort caravan, armed courier. Okay, all things that could take me north. Two days west to sauna. Nope. That's the other southern nation. Can you guys stop going south? Three days north into forced land. Wait a minute. Forced land's pretty close. And the road goes through the left. I'll do it. I'll do it. Training montage. We need it. The black market's going to tempt me with stuff. And I don't have the money for it. Because I'm too poor. 10k is too poor in this game. We'll take it. Training montage chat. Let's go. Don't need any more healing. Actually, we do. Eh. He'll be fine. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Training all the way. Pump those kicks. Get all those attacking dummies on the road again. Do we dig? We dig. We lose tools, we get a golden chalice. That's money! Money chat. Let's go. We're rich. absolutely rich now we can get two cool bros maybe or if they're on super sale like 3000 each then we get three super cool bros i don't know but what i do know is the training montage is pumping look at this 
Nothing wants us. We're too strong. We're too scary. We've got too much muscle and too many things protecting the road for us. And we get permanent stats for our lovely gladiator. No, that's not our gladiator. That's Stefan. Stefan with the permanent stats. Let's go. Nicely done, buddy. The wild man never stood a chance. And a three-day caravan with no interruptions, chat. Is that on the bingo today? Nope. Unfortunate. But we get an insane amount of XP across the board. 86 hours of camping. And that's level ups for practically everybody. Almost everybody. Lunatics, let's go and grab you shield expert. Yes. It's good to have shield expert. Nice. Uh, Moha, you have been dying too much and you're a vagabond and you should be dead by now, but you literally have no elbow, no lungs, no foot, no missing hand, no missing finger, no weakened heart, and brain damage. So Moha has seven permanent injuries. I'll give him resilient, so he just keeps collecting more. <laughs> oh, God. Can I break a weapon? Oh. Could I break a weapon? Or could I have sick or poison happen? Hmm. I wonder. Could I just break a weapon for you, White Magic? It's tricky to break weapons these days. They're usually pretty sturdy. Ralph, what are we doing? Oh, he's doing so badly. Let's get him some quick step. I kind of want this squire to die. He's too expensive. He's not worth it. Sorry, Ralph. Sorry, my man. Give him medium armor just because it gives him something. You feel attacked right now? No, 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 no. You feel attacked when I put you in the battlefield in front of a bunch of spears. Right now, what you're feeling is the warmth of a snowman that says, I value you not being in the party. <laughs> that's, that's just me showing the amount of value I have for you. Just, you know, not being in the party. It's just very, very valuable. A lot of love and support. Stefan, are you undead yet? You are undead. So that means I don't need to rebound. I could go muscularity. Very nice. Snow killed me off at the start of the stream, says White Magic. Yeah, well, it worked a bit too easily. Unfortunately. Or fortunately, whichever way you want to look at it. Uh, ambush, high five. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. Your word's not mine, but, you know, I was trying to be nice to Ralph about it, but if you're calling him vermin, um, meh. I might agree, uh, may, disagree? Disagree is the right word, isn't it right, chat? Disagree is the right word. Born with a board, shield expert. Wait, did I get the wrong expert? Did I do a stupid chat? No, it's shield expert. Thank goodness. I need to check these. Why is born with a board in tier 4 and shield expert tier 3? Drazus, that scared me for a second. I almost gave you the wrong perk. But nicely done. He's getting to 83 defense. Uh, Kenshan, looking okay. Could be better, but he's okay. Net repair is tempting, but I probably should go Steel Brow first. Ugh. Bad numbers. Let's go Net Repair, just because I need Nets. Uh, yes! It's Root Time, Sokka! Infinite Fatigue, 6 Action Points, 8 Tiles. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's what we're looking for. The powerful root. I am root. And I am also the person who wants to get maybe a little bit of shopping before we go. No, no, we don't need to go shopping. Yeah, but we want to check for recruits. The special location probably has more recruits than here. There's another druid. 
Mmm, that's tempting. That's very tempting, but I don't have money for it. I have to go, like, full-on... No, 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 no. Second Druid's risky. Like, Second Druid can literally go Wither and... Whatchamacallit? Wither and Insects on the same enemy, so he can, like, totally nullify bosses' attacks. But it's risky. I think it's just safer to have one Druid. And try and make sure you maintain DPS with the team. There's a Manhunter? Oh, there's a Bounty Hunter. Yes, White Magic. There was a Bounty Hunter there, but Bounty Hunters aren't super overpowered in this mod. So we don't need him. Too cheesy with two Druids? No, no, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. The cheese is good. Get a third Druid? Ugh. Wait, I can't get into the keep. Ah, uh, Abyss Crane, my good man. I might have to save reload. Oh no. That wasn't you guys. It's a reoccurring error! Abyss! The flesh is immortal. It is undying. Pray it does not take too hideous a form. It's already hideous. It's crashing. Abyss, I have I have fun stuff to send you. Okay, I gotta I gotta literally like force close this. Nope. I'm sorry. Task manager, I need you right now. Task manager, do the deed. It still crashed when I tried to task manager it. Uh, here we are again fighting against the mighty demon crash. <laughs> the demon crash is too powerful, chat. I don't have the power. Oh, dear. The fancy location's too fancy for us, chat. We tried. Please don't, please don't save corrupt. I mean, it's not the end of the world if it's save corrupt. Okay, maybe it is the end of the world. Save corruption. Oh, no. When did I last save? I think it was at the city. Yep, that's save corruption 100%. Well, the Viscreen can have fun looking at my lovely, horrible-looking logs. Oh, dear. And it crashes as I try and force-close it. Okay. Now, we go back in time. Did I save after or before the training? That's a good question. I think I saved after? Day 26. Nope, I saved before the training. Five days. I saved here. Ouch. It's the emu attacks? Oh, it could be the koalas. You never know. More F5s? Yeah, I should more F5s, but I wasn't expecting save corruptions. Oh, I should be expecting them, though. We are using a lot of mods. It's been a long time since I've had a save corruption, so I should be more careful. The snowman should be more careful. What if it was drop bears? Hey, I'm telling you, the drop bears did it. It's always the drop bears' fault. If you want to blame anything in the world, blame it on drop bears. They ruin everything. And they're so mean. Like, why would they do this? Why would the drop bears do this, chat? Same caravan. Same training montage. Same snowman not getting attacked on said training montage. Yes. On the road again. Okay, I took some injuries. But we get a brand new witch! Specifically an evoker. Is she good? 
Not really. But she's cool. That's the cool thing about it. She's not good. She can read scrolls. Yeah, she can read scrolls. If we get some from enemies. Summon a queen. Oh, dear. No, no, no. Scrolls are from the king. The, the, the lich king. The an ancient lich lore keeper. Antomical studies. We do a lot of permanent injuries. That would be hilarious if she had that. Eh. She'll be a part of the team. Ranged thrower? Yeah, she probably could do crossbows. Probably crossbows the throwing weapons. She's not much good for anything else. Like some sort of support with helping hand? Maybe. Regardless, we have a chance to have a new person on the team. And it's Gobbo! Gobbo just might die, unfortunately. But he'll be fine, chat. He'll be fine. Give her a dagger? Yeah, she'll have a dagger in her back pocket. Just in case. You never know. No, I really need to get these injuries sorted. Oh. Oh, no. It's a lot of bad injuries. So many bad injuries. Two spotted in melee and two throw perks. Yeah, yeah. Ranged. Yeah. Not enough meds? Yeah, I know. I know. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, no. Not after those bad injuries. Abyss is fixing the issues. Don't enter Legion until you fix this. No worries, man. No worries. What the hell is that, dude? Abyss Crane, what did you do? What is that? What the hell is the red dude doing? It's a champion? Chat, it's like day 40. Well, that's going to be interesting. That's going to be very interesting. Also known as, um... I mean, he has my favorite weapon. I'm lucky because he has the weapon. So I am 100% very happy that he has the weapon I want. I just have to grab it off of his corpse. That's going to be the tricky part. What is Battering Ram? Battering Ram pushes him through um, your enemies. It's like push through. Or is it the charge? I think it's the push through one. How much HP? He's almost got 600. 592 is pretty good. Pretty scary though. Boohoo, I got his champions to day 7. Nice. Scariest Grave Digger. That sounds like fun. Send him my regards. Also, what is this caravan doing up here? Just having a scout? Have fun, buddy. Okay, let's set up some lightning, boys. And it can have the high ground. Yeah, he's learning fast. Okay. Please line up into a formal... Dang it. He charged forward. Kind of left that spot open a little bit. Kind of as bait, but also kind of as hoping that he wouldn't go there. He's going to swing in a circle, isn't he? Stefan, you gotta punch him. Because apparently they're stealing your weapons now. Cheeky orcs. 
Cheeky orcs. It's a funny looking orc, though. Lightning for the win. And then we go with Undead to support the team. Oh, it's the stupid fiend again. Mm-hmm. Nice. Drazus gets a hit. Let's go. Starting chunking him down ever so slightly. Epo gets a punch off. Nicely done. Hi, he's been there with the 155. Let's go. Double 21s by Gabo. Here comes the swing in a circle. The double hit because he... Oh my. Yikes. Yeah, having Berserk on that dude is a little scary, chat. Just a little bit. Okay, we're not getting any zombies, which is really unfortunate. Lightning when I can. We might have lost a zombie. No, that was... Oh, that was Moha. His brain got busted. Dang it, you're right, we did lose him. As much as I'm not minding my zombies dying, I'm just using them as bullet shields. Nice one, Drazus. Nice. Anakin's still hanging out over here. Apparently he's having a good time. I missed an 82. Thanks, game. Thanks. Like I needed to miss that 82. Stefan with a good hit. Nice. Spin the circle. Kill your own dude. Come on. That's Obi, not Anakin. That's true. Anakin never utilized the high ground. He should have, but he never did. Uh, high five takes a 40%. Dang it. Can you guys stop hitting me? I'd appreciate it. 26 to 43. Nice. That's a good parry dagger. Good hits, Mr. Doggy. The Berserker's going down, boys. Kaiser is too good. Kaiser is too good. The fact that he heals himself is just so strong. Okay, the dog's dead. That sucks. Apparently, Stefan's failing. So is Mr. High Five. Sheesh. Stop dying, boys. We got work to do. And I get the best weapon in the game. That's a great way to finish the stream. Who cares about the Fantasy Town? I might try and still get the Fantasy Town if we have time. But getting that weapon is huge. Can I stop missing? It's a definite change events to compare last time. I took no no fights on my caravan. Now I'm taking maybe more than one. Ow, can you stop hitting Stefan, you jerk? What is this? What is this? What are these two doing, just never dying? Okay, I lost to a whip. Thank you, Stefan. Rotate him in so you stay alive. Thank you, high five. Thank you, Abyss Crane. Finally. Supposed to get a Necromancer Bro with this setup? Yes, I think there is a Necromancer Bro in Fantasy, but I don't think Fantasy is in here normally. Uh, the Necromancer Bro is the main character, mainly. So I don't know if Necro... Not Necro. Abyss Crane has done anything to make another Necro. 
He probably hasn't. The Fiend is useless, he died to whip, yeah. I don't like the Fiend. The Fiend is pretty useless. Moha's dead. Sad times. But! Our spoils of war. 55... Okay, my mouse is moving. 55 to 110 damage. Decent durability. Extra armor effectiveness. Good armor ignore. We're going flails, baby! We're going flails. Also, that's a nice helmet. And we got our shield back. Not bad. This is good. High five. Why are you the old guard? Because you are a blade dancer. That is what your character started with. Okay, who do I go with, chat? Stefan? Is Ken Chan worth it? It's 80, so he went to 85 to 91. I'd love to make Kaisner the Flail Master. That's right, but I already made him a Sword Master. Maybe when we get to Fancy Place, I can buy another one. He's also got Brute. Oh, the Fury. He does have Brute. Kenshin does have Flail Master, but I have to spend a point to do it. You know what? There's going to be other bros on the team that can use flails. I think that's the right call. Uh, let's do this. And Roots is very good. It hurts to see it. I do agree. It does. It was We found it just a little too late for our decision-making process. I'm going to take get that shield expert, buddy. Do I have a shield upgrade for you? Technically, I do. Technically, I do. Actually, let's for Drazus. Oh! Drazus just lost his arm. Whoops. Well, Drazus can't shield anymore, chat. Drazus has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven permanent injuries. Sprained ankle doesn't count. Oh, no, no, six, because the concussion doesn't count. And the ribs don't count. Wait. But he's not getting them healed because we don't have medical supplies. Vraze is starting to collect some bad injuries. He'll be fine, shot. He'll be fine. I might have to go collect meds, though. I'm going to be honest. We're desperate for meds. This team takes way too many injuries. High five. Grats on the level up, though. Uh, underdog's pretty good, though. We will take it. Drazus levels up, and I can't get shield expert because he can't hold a shield anymore. What do I give him? Hair splitter is hilarious to give him. But he's already pragmatic, so that's a waste. Colossus is good. 215 health. Wait, why does he have 215 health, chat? Wait, what? Chat. No, 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 chat, I figured it out. Don't tell Abyss Crane. Don't tell Abyss Crane I found a bug. Don't tell him, chat, okay? We all have to agree that I found a broken part of his game. Don't tell him. I think I figured out what happened. Every time your bro dies, they have a chance to turn into a zombie. Too late, he's here? Dang it. So if a zombie dies, it can turn into a zombie again and get bonus permanent stats. So you can farm permanent stats as long as you don't care about their permanent injuries. He's got 215 health because it's so freaking strong. Remove the clip. Oh, yeah, he won't see it. He won't see the clip. He's not listening at all. Th there's no way a bro gets 200 health normally. Remove the evidence? Yeah, kill Dre's this. <laughs> I've been trying to kill him. He just doesn't freaking die. <laughs> oh, boy. It's hilarious, and I love it. 
Oh dear. But yeah, we, we broke the game. 200 health. Because I don't think Drazus expected... Not Drazus. I don't think... Um, sorry, this is Drazus. I don't think Abyscrean expected you to just keep sacrificing your bros. I don't even think he expected that. Sacrifice your bros infinitely for infinite health. And then Drazus will just be infinite. I like it. I think it's not super powerful unless you can fix those injuries. Don't give Ralph resilient now he'll never turn. I know, I shouldn't have given it to him, but it's fine. It's fine. Okay, the undead, undead can go away, please. Please go away. Don't bother me. Thank you, undead. Was not in the mood to get hit. Check the snow so in. Thank you, Abyss Crane. Much appreciated. Pimps keep you safe? No, they don't. Apparently the game doesn't think pimps are good enough. Apparently not. Uh, Stefan, what do we have? We have Underdog. Very good. Very good, sir. What else do we have? Kenshan is sitting on a free battle flow. Surprisingly. He doesn't need it, though. Get that steel brow going. Abyss gets level 9, and he does have Heed the Call, and now he has Fire and Ice. Which is this one, Fire and Ice, is a good attack that does horizontal damage. It's pretty good. Usually ignores armor di uh, decently. It can backfire, but I don't like the backfire problem. Has a chance to do Dark Chill, which is really nice. I think it's time for Fortified Mind. 38% Mind of her body is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Love it. Uh, yeah, Gobbo has a missing eye. There's no way I'm making him a ranged person. That sucks. 66% mind of her body? That's crazy. Crazy. Inventor for limbs? Yeah, that, that might fix... Maybe that fixes Dre's this? Wait, this could be a strat chat. As long as Abyss Crane doesn't know, all you need to do is just keep fixing those limbs and then you're set. Yeah, that's fine. It's perfectly fine. Okay, right, thanks Abyss Crane for the download. I will put that in and then we'll have to finish up for today. Hopefully it works. Also, I need to save because I need to keep saving, chat. I gotta get used to saving in this run a bit more often because of the crashes. Very important. That'd be fair and balanced as high five? Yeah, for sure. Totally fair and balanced. I would agree. I am 100% on board with this fair and balanced ideas. As a snowman, I would never suggest anything overpowered. No, 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 no. That not in my nature. Would never do such a thing. Would never even think of it. So here it is, chat. <laughs> Alright, let's switch this out. And let's go restart the game. There we go. We save again, just in case. Haven't seen real enemies yet? Hey, we had... S no, no, no. Grim, Grim. We fought a Swordmaster. That dude wrecked our ass. We were close to winning against him if we got a 29%. The Champion Berserker was a real enemy, but we got... We have a, some strong bros on the team. Oh, wait. I did this wrong. I just restarted the game. I didn't even change the mod list. Smart Snow didn't change mod list. Okay. Now we change the mod list. Now we start the game. Pay a thousand gold to fix my unbreakable unlimited fatigue zombie champion. Yep. That's how it is. Clockwork zombies for the win. That's how it's going to work, chat. Infinite health. Infinite success. And now, we go into the keep. With our hard-earned money, let's go buy ourselves a cool bro. And I think there might be some things we can do at the keep. So we'll have to see what they've changed. And what is available. The lunch? Yeah, chat, I'm going to lunch, okay? We're here, we're at lunch. I can have some lunch now, right? This is such a great place. I didn't even expect it! <laughs> it's lunchtime, chat. Hey, the keep worked! There's nothing in here. What? 
is just a marketplace and hieries oh dear god what is that oh chat he's back but he's got a bow this time He looks good. Tim the Alp. But, could he be a ranged Alp this time? I think that's an instant hire. Unless, wait, I spent 300 bucks to check. He does have it. He has ranged attack. He has nictophobia. He's, nic he's an Alp, but he's scared of the night. Chat, we have to take him in. We have to take him in. Is this Tim's wife? This could be canonically Tim's wife. There's also more living undead. There's another there's another green dude. Oh, but he's so expensive. Another green dude. No, no, I'm buying Tim's wife. 62 range. 67 range defense. What? Cannot cut body or head armor. Has an unworldly field which gives massive range defense, but is weak to melee, which every hit his range power increases. With every hit, he gets stronger in a fight temporarily? Holy crap, that's cool. You came back, Zolintex? Yeah, yeah, no, no, I came back. I was only gone for like a couple minutes. This dude's sick. Parthian shot's great. Bow, do I want to do poison bow? Poison bow's tempting. Favorite enemy archers, killing frenzy. Big game hunters, interesting. Hmm. Abyss crane says every kill. Wait, what? Wait. No. Is it permanent? No, abyss crane. No. He's permanent scaling. <laughs> Abyss! Abyss, you have got yourself a supporter right here. I support the Alps. Permanent stats upon kills. Stack range defense on him? Wait, why is he down to 7 range defense? Wait, what happened? He was at 60 a second ago. What? He's at 60, then he went down to 7. And now he's... Now he's down to 7 because I'm playing with the... What? I used a perk choice. What? That's just buggy. Okay. It just needs to refresh. Okay, it's fine. Plan perks is bugged on Legends. Okay, that might be it. That might be it. Okay, it's just... The bonus 60 that he gets from his background. It goes invisible when I'm playing around with the perks. That's weird. It's the check for unarmored? Oh, maybe that's what it is. Happens on base legends? Interesting. Anyways, uh, I don't think I want to go small big game hunter because that's not really super good. Although it is scaling damage based on the target's missing health. Ballistic seems useless. Berserk seems amazing. Hmm. Overwhelm Goblin Throwing Perk, so he has crazy initiative. That's pretty cool. Heightened reflexes would be cool. Base range defense gives you initiative. Oh, but that's bad. Because his base range defense is 7. Big Game Hunter is just a buff overall, like the bigger damage increase. Yeah, maybe I do go Big Game Hunter. It's not as... This is not the same as I've recently seen it as, but it's fine. Parthian Shot's good. Fight and Reflexes is bad because I have a base of 7. If I stack it, it could be good. Yeah, but I don't need more speed. That's the thing. I could consider Overwhelm. But I don't need speed. I need damage. Things like Mark Target could be 
good. Crippling Strikes into Executioner, if I have Executioner. Muscularity into there. That's good. Muscularity's good. Perfect Fit is better than Heightened Reflexes. Perfect Fit is 100% better than Heightened Reflexes. 30% initiative. Heightened Reflexes is just weak. Nimble's good, though. Poison Mastery, I probably shouldn't. Probably shouldn't. These 11 perks are good. Wait, 11? I have to go down to 10? Ugh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. But favorite enemy is so good. Close combat archer on the fifth row. No, that's reached advantage. This is close combat archer. Close combat archer is bad. Unless you're shooting close range. Actually, wait, it's really good for this character if you're really close to the enemy. Because what does he have, like, 67? Oh, actually, that's really good. Then we make him a throwing build. Gun out could be hilarious, but throwing weapons could be good for close combat. Um, what if I go throwing close combat? Guns could be tempting. Six every turn. But the reason why I don't want to go guns is because I don't have muscle memory. Muscle memory is what you need for guns to be useful. Because then, oh, but then again, the first movement you do every turn is free with Parthian. But I want to chunk enemies. Like, gun does not do a crazy amount of damage. But it is, it's not scaling damage, it's scaling, wait, Abyss. Range power means accuracy or damage? That's the question I need to know. With the Raven Bow, does it get bonus damage on every kill or bonus accuracy on every kill? My interpretation is accuracy. If it's damage, then that's crazy. That is infinitely crazy. You part phrase it as damage. Oof. Because, high five, you're saying Gun Out gets up to 900 damage. That would be sick. I would go gun if it's damage. If it's accuracy, I would go bows or throws. Plus one range skill per kill. I thought so. I thought so, Abyss. Okay. That changes things slightly. Because accuracy doesn't help you with damage. I'm a sucker for throwing masteries. I'm a sucker for it. Fedot says bows before throws. Yeah. <laughs> uh, bows lets me counter snipe. But the problem is, close combat of like, what, 100% bonus damage? Is so tempting. I, okay, hear me out. No belts, limited ammo. Ah, Fodge, you're right, limited ammo, Grim, Fodge. I could still do it, though, but not with throwing. Okay, chat, here's the distinction. Do I do bows or guns? Do I just go gun? Do I just go gun? But then gun has bad ammo. Wait. I need bags and belts for gun too. 
The gun elf would be crazy. Wait, there's one other thing I need to check. Chat, um, cell swords. Doesn't cell swords have that inventory item that gives you one extra inventory space? Does cell swords update still have that as well? Expo's an idea. Only problem with Expo's, you don't shoot often enough to do enough DPS per round. Expo's good at deleting targets. But it's only one shot, whereas like throwing weapons is two shots, Expo's one shot, bow is two shots, and a gun is a nice AoE. Gun Alp is the antithesis to Ash and his boomstick. Mm-hmm. I'm considering... I'll consider gun if I can get the extra space in the inventory. I will strongly consider gun if I get the inventory space. If I don't get the inventory space from that equipable, I will go bow. Because bows can have like 20 ammo, 20 ammo, 20 ammo. You will never run out in long-term fights. I mean, you still could technically run out. And then guns, they shoot once per turn, but the nice AoE is good. Do I have an answer to strong archer opposition? Only if I go bow. Do I check black market for the third slot? Yeah, I think I have to. I have to check black market. I can also check crafting. But it's probably just black market. Oh, it doesn't have the... It's fine. It's probably just black market. I'm not sure about the extra slot either. But I think it's sell swords. So that's why I'm like, if Cell Swords Update has it, I'll consider it. So this is bow or... Oh, uh, what is it? Bow or gun slot. Wait, that says hun. That says gun slot. So I need that slot for the gunner. Can't summons be used to limit enemy ranged? Yes, I do have summons for that. My answer to enemy range is also heed the call. But counter sniping is what I have for this archer favorite enemy. Reminder: standard row two mod and legend sub mod. You can use fancy row unique backgrounds, unlike this leaderboard version where you don't have access to expressions. Yes, yes, you can use the cool backgrounds from Cell Swords and Fantasy if you don't use this fancy leaderboard version. This is just the fancy leaderboard version, chat. What's it with leaderboarding? Leaderboarding is just basically we're playing hard mode and we're trying to be competitive with it. Yeah, look for other recruits? Yeah, we'll have to look for another recruit for sure. I only have 5k left. Can I sell anything? Also, wait, what's the bow that I'm using? Oh, it just has a red tinge to it. Oh, there's a red tinge over the character. That's cool. I was like, why is the bow red? Is it fancy? No, it's just a normal bow. Sell a few things, try and make sure I can make some money. Yeah, that's alright. Uh, I can sell some of these orc weapons because I don't really like them. Oh, I can't forget orc items are good. We need the loot. Oh yeah, you're right, we do. Sorry, I do remember that now. Thank you, thank you, Grim. Good thinking. That should be everything we need. Except for that. And the scales. Oh, unless we want to make gun stuff. Never mind, never mind. I'll keep the scales. Wait, no, is it, isn't it? it leather? Not the scales. No, scales is for explosives. Fair enough, I'll keep them regardless. Uh, let's see if we got seven grand. Seven grand can get us what? You get us an assassin. A starter assassin, that's pretty cool. Not what I want, though, for the team. We can go for another undead dude. A cheaper undead for 3.3k. Maybe the non-failed drays this. Maybe. But I want the green dude. I really want the green dude. Does the druid have bags and belts? He could carry ammo for the range, bro. I mean, Gobbo does have helpful... Music Caster does not have bags or Helpful. Helpful's good because it lets you give an item to a, an ally for free with no cost or penalty. 
Any scaling beggars in the shop? Oh, I'll double check. Don't know if you can actually buy them, but that would be sick if you could. No. But I am leaning towards another green dude, chat. The green dudes are pretty good. Only with low percent in recruit event? Yeah, I thought so. I thought you couldn't buy them. 26 a day, 24 a day. Let's go with the cheaper one. What's the scythe the bro has? What do you mean, this thing? The dead crane scythe. It's really nice. Very good damage. And it has a very good pierce attack. Okay, so, chat, I'm going to go green guy, I think, because he's huge. And he's got a good chance of going for the same stuff that our other green guy has, which is Kaisener. Come on, come on. Flail mastery, go amazing stats. This is our flail, bro. He's got to have it. What's the scythe guy in the higher reeds? Oh, what did I miss with the higher reeds having a scythe? That's an axe. That's a safe. And that is a cleaver. That is a necrosavant, though. What are those stars? Hey, hey, hey. They're the same stars. Actually, they're worse. They're a little bit worse than our previous green dude. Our previous green has 200 health. Damn. Damn, we're doing good, chat. We be doing good. Wish I could have Headhunter on this thing. Let's get Steelbrow. Nice. 4, 4, and 5. Stack it, boys. Stack it. 140 HP. It's ridiculous, chat, I tell you. It's insanely ridiculous, and I love it. It's his hat on mobile, so maybe I'm not seeing it. Well, oh, that's all good, Wolfang. That's all good. His hat was just a fancy hat. Welcome to the Himalayas! Snow cone? <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. It's lemon. These dudes are insane, chat, but we're going to need it. We're going to need the chaos and the power to succeed in this run. So I'll name these dudes, and we'll head out. Eugene, thanks for those resub at seven months. Much appreciated, man. Thank you so much for the support. But it is time, chat, to name them and ship them out. Okay, let's add some names in here. Uh, Ulrich and Withstand are going for the redeem points because they desperately want these new bros. First up is Outboy. Who is Outboy today? Of course. Of course, who else would it be? He's back. It's GB. <laughs> rigged. So rigged. And who is the new green boy with my favorite weapon? It's Regime. Good to have you, Regime. Welcome to the team. The gunbow is back in. Yeah, we'll have to figure it out. I think next week we'll have to look at things and see if I can find that item. That will be the biggest determining factor whether I go guns or uh, bows. 100%. 100%. But we'll figure it out. Uh, I'm super keen on his stats. Permanent stats per attack per kill is great. That means we can get more favorite enemy archer stuff to get even more crazy with the counter snipes. I'm loving that. At the 18th level, they get a free perk point back from the counter sniping, so that's pretty good. It's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, this is good damage across the board. I can't wait for this dude. Now, I love these green dudes because they have 50% life steal. So they're basically necrosavants, but they're skeletons. And they have insane health pools. So yeah, the two green dudes we have on our team already going to chop things up. And I have so much high hopes for this run. As long as they don't get shattered by the crazy late game enemies that we don't want to deal with. So we'll, we'll figure it out, chat. We'll see what happens, but I'm glad you're enjoying the new challenge run that we're playing at the moment. Thank you so much to Abyss Crane and all the lovely modders who put support into this mod to make it this amazing. 
and for the support today, helping me getting through these bugs and all that kind of stuff as well, because we're always still working on trying to get these things fixed, and there's a lot of progress to be made, and I'm good at bug hunting, so that's the fun part to it as well. I gotta head to lunch. Uh, we gotta finish up for this week, and I'll see you all sometime soon. Glad you enjoyed, and uh, yeah, definitely rest time for sure. Do, 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 do. Let's go raid as usual, support the team, support everybody else. I can spell that correctly. There we go. Glad to have it. So much fun. You guys can try out this mod too. I'll put the mod list up soon. Uh, I gotta go have lunch and get out of this heat. But I will put up the mod list possibly tonight. We'll see how it goes. I got a bunch of things to catch up with, like VODs and mod lists and stuff. So if there's anything you're confused about, it'll it'll be up there in, in eventually. <laughs> so don't worry about it. Anyways, I'll see you guys soon. Have a great rest of your week. And uh, glad you guys are enjoying. See you.